Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Jim Reed. Today we're going to discuss the pilot's office, the cockpit. Today we're sitting in Martin Sonka's airplane. It's a V3. It's the most modern example of an Edge 540 cockpit. So some of the other Edge 540s may appear slightly different in the cockpit, but all the same information is displayed to the pilot. So the three main displays in this particular cockpit are the EFIS, which is an electronic flight information system. This provides altitude, heading, airspeed information to the pilot. Then we have a Red Bull EFIS. This is specific to the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. This provides the pilot with entry speed, with G through the track. It also reports data back to race control so that he can be judged effectively. The third display is the engine monitor. This allows the pilot to keep track of exactly how his engine is performing when he's flying. The light bar is a portion of the Red Bull EFIS. This provides the pilot with start speed information running into the track and G information while in the track. Each race aircraft also has a radio. The radio allows the pilot to talk to race control. Number eight, Shanka, you're cleared into the track. Smoke on. Copy number eight. The basic engine controls in the cockpit are the throttle, the mixture, and the propeller control. The mixture control helps you find the optimum fuel to air mixture for the engine so it makes the most power. The prop control adjusts the RPM of the engine by changing the pitch of the propeller. On this lower portion of the panel, you can see the two ignition switches and the start button that allows you to go have fun. So now you have an idea about the basic instruments in a Red Bull Air Race World Championship aircraft. But as with all flying, the most important instrument is always the window. 